Welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the Finch Buffalo Tooth. Let's check it out. I did a short video on the unboxing of the Buffalo Tooth here. If you guys missed that, I'll put that link down below in the description box. But real quick, let's see what else came in the box here. My favorite, a Band-Aid. A very, very cool sticker right here, the Buffalo Tooth sticker. A Finch warranty card and flipping the Finch. But let's put all this off to the side here and I'll give you guys a nice close up of the Finch Buffalo Tooth here. And I'll tell you guys, I've had this for about two weeks now and I like it way more than I was expecting. When I saw it online, I had a feeling I might like it, but the shape was so different from anything that I have. It's just very, very simple lines, very clean lines. And because of those simple lines, I wasn't sure how comfortable it would be in the hands because there's no finger grooves or anything like that, but it is surprisingly comfortable to hold, which really came out of left field for me. And in the last two weeks, I've been carrying this exclusively. It just hasn't left my pockets. Now let's go over some of the features here. It is a rear flipper that is a three inch 154 cm satin finished spear point blade. And yes, even though it is a rear flipper, there still is a nail nick right there just to be a little bit more discreet when deploying. So I like that. Bolster titanium handles in this beautiful Coca Bolo inlays. It's gorgeous. And there is loom in that crest in the middle of those Coca Bolo inlays. So it will glow in the dark if you guys hit it with some light. A mill titanium pocket clip that's not quite deep carry. It's about a quarter inch from the top. The lock is a bolster lock as you can see right there. And I love the high flat grind here on the blade and the grain on the blade all goes horizontal. Now I love the horizontal grain on a blade because it just wipes off so perfectly. Damn, my fingers are greasy as hell. You see that? the heck is going on there? Now there's no jimping on the spine of the blade here at all, but there's a little bit on the flipper tab right there and right there on the very top flips very nicely. Now it's available in three different handle styles. Of course, this is the Coco Bolo version. There is a mother of pearl inlay and then there's a jigged titanium version. I believe I paid about 195 bucks for this and I think they're all the same price no matter which version you choose. Now when I was ordering the Buffalo Tooth online, it looked very, very stumpy, but this is a three inch blade. It's deceivingly long for how stumpy it looks. So the blade is three inches long, closed, it's four inches, so overall, it comes in at seven inches. And like I said, that seven inches is just so deceiving, especially if you haven't held this in your hands personally. If you see it online, it just looks so stumpy and chonky. And that's a perfect description for this knife. It's just thick and chonky. I measured it from the most narrow point right here at the tail, and it came in at one and one eighth inches. And then right here, let me close it, right here at its thickest, is one and a half inches. So that's pretty high for a handle and the thickness is only about a half inch. So half inch here, about one and a half inches from here, then one and one eighth inches right here at the most narrow point of the tail. Now, according to my weight test, it comes in at about 4.80 ounces, which is a little bit on the heavier side. It feels a little bit weighty in the pocket, but overall it's not that bad. I've definitely carried heavier knives in my pocket and it's an extremely slicey knife. The blade thickness here is 0 0.110 inches and it is scary, scary sharp right out of the box. Now just a quick paper test here. This is so slicey. I mean, look at this, it is just like a knife through hot butter. Now I see why they give us this Band-Aid in the box. I really appreciate that. Now before this, my favorite Finch that I own is the Finch 1934 here. I absolutely love this knife. Um, side by side, check that out. You can see just how thick this buffalo tooth is compared to that 1934 here. But my point is, this was my favorite Finch knife up until this point right here. I absolutely love this knife. Like I said, it's been my everyday carry in my pockets for the last two weeks since it's arrived on my doorstep. And I just don't see that changing anytime soon, but you know how that goes. Meaning I'm always buying knives and who knows what else is gonna end up in my pockets. But as of right now, it's gonna be the Finch Buffalo Tooth.
All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Finch Buffalo Tooth? Now, as I mentioned, you can pick this up for about 195 bucks, no matter which version you choose for the inlays. If you guys are interested and wanna check this out for yourself, I will put links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!